Hello, my name is Josh Binstock. I'm a two-time Olympian representing Canada at the most recent Olympics in Rio and the one before that in London. I created this shoulder impingement fix because shoulder impingement is one of the most common issues affecting everybody, whether you're an athlete or um, you know, a weekend warrior or you're doing anything overuse. Um, specifically overhead athletes, I myself dealt with this very exact situation and uh, issue. So I know what works and what doesn't work. So we've taken the most up-to-date science and in addition to anecdotal evidence, um, knowing what's gonna be the most beneficial. So I created this fix because I wish I had this when I was playing myself and I know many people are gonna benefit from that. A quick overview of what shoulder impingement is, really just any pinch or pain when you're lifting overhead. So a lot, like I said, volleyball, tennis, baseball, anything overhead can cause that, but also any repeated motions. If you're reaching for a cup or a dish in the cupboard, um, if you're lying on your shoulder at the same time as sleeping, anybody can really develop a shoulder impingement. The cause of shoulder impingement can be something from the rotator cuff, it, it, it's in between the head of the bone, which is the humerus, and this bone here, the acromion, there's a space in between. And when you lift your arm up, it's pinching that rotator cuff. Also, there's something called a bursa, which is just a fluid-filled sac, and that can be inflamed as well when you're reaching up. So even though there's many causes, this fix will address all those. So a lot of times when you are doing something overuse and that's the problem there, this is how we're going to address it. You'll notice in this fix that not only did we focus on the actual rotator cuff muscles, which is what's a problem, but we focused a lot on the scapular stabilization and the shoulder blade muscles. That's actually more important than the rotator cuff muscles itself. That's quote unquote the foundation. You can't build a house without the foundation. So that's what these scapular stabilizing muscles are. One mistake that a lot of people go through, and this is what I made when I was younger before I actually found out what really helped fix the situation, was the scapular stabilization foundation exercises. So I can't stress enough the importance of working the scapular stabilizers, even though maybe that's not where you feel the pain. Because if you don't have this set first, this won't heal. So that's why we focus so much on that, and you'll see why. Not only will these exercises help fix the issue and help alleviate symptoms and pain, but it will also prevent it from coming back. If you're unsure if you do have impingement syndrome, I would suggest go to your medical practitioner for a diagnosis, but these are very important, not in terms of only helping fix the issue, but also prevent it from coming back. Some key points when you're doing these exercises, you don't need to do it within seven days, even though it is a seven day fix, you can go at your own pace as long as you are progressing. As well, the next day you actually should be sore. So if you're wondering why you're feeling some different kind of discomfort, that actually means you're doing it properly because your body will adapt. If you are too sore to do that, you can take a day off and then come back again, but don't be stressed or worried if you do feel some soreness, especially in the areas of that we're working. And if you do take a deep breath and you feel a soreness, that's another way to know that you did it properly. For more information, you can check out my bio at the link here and looking forward to helping you guys get fixed.